What do you get when you put a group of fanboys in a room with a mic? From video games, comics, and movies to uncensored social commentary, nothing is off limits. With your hosts, Pistol Pete Jr., The Blue Guy, Chuck Bitch, G-Roll, and Player 2, this is The Real Press Start. So sit down, load up, log in, and press start. Welcome to the Peter and Al Podcast. That's right. It is time for you to get them headphones in and whip them. Peter's Al. Because it is the Peter and Al Podcast with your host, Spistol Pete Jr., Chub Didge, and the infamous... Jeezy Weezy, a.k.a. El Narco. <laughs> El Narco. <laughs> Peter's the real narco, if I can, going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's addicted to smuggling drugs through his bubble. What was it? No, it was Jordan's. <laughs> yeah, it's Jordan's. Smuggling Jordan's. So you listened to last week's show? Yeah, I think I finished it. I'm not sure if I finished it or not. Yeah. But. No Peter again. Once again. Yeah. So he got good. held up at customs. Held up at customs? Yeah, they're doing a full, full doing cavity, a full cavity <laughs> By a guy with rough fingers. He he purposely comes in suspicious so they can... Uh, so they search him and not, and not the two, not the car coming in behind that has all the, <laughs> has all the drugs. <laughs> That's and really what he's getting paid for <laughs> to be in the cavity. <laughs> Search <laughs> <A dummy. laughs> the decoy cavity <laughs> search decoy. That's the name of the episode. Decoy cavity decoy. search decoy. <laughs> decoy. <laughs> uh, so uh, no, I think it's in there. Maybe if you guys go a little deeper, <laughs> deeper, if a little deeper, yeah. maybe bring in a, a, some backup. <laughs> <laughs> They have to yeah. get another guard to hold yeah. the other guy's ankles so he can, like, get all the way in there. It's, like, shoulder deep. They're like, we already got our guard with the longest fingers. What else are we doing? Oh, my God. Anyway. So, there's not much news this week. What are you talking about? There's all kinds of news. There's all these UFOs being shot down. Are there? There's- yeah, there's mad UFOs being shot down every week. They're shooting down another UFO. I've never heard of this. Where? There was one over Alaska. There was that one. They're shooting down UFOs, but there's no there's no wreckage. They're just like balloons. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They're like there was one that was like a Chinese spy balloon, uh-huh. and then I guess. Everybody thinks the rest are like Chinese spies. So. It wasn't. It wasn't just a, a gender reveal party nearby. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a stray balloon. <laughs> they said one of them was. It was just a hobbyist balloon or some, some mm-hmm. sort of hobbyist balloon. And they just shot some innocent guy who was. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was like a hot air balloon. Yeah. You're talking uh, about? <laughs> I guess they like fired like a twenty thousand dollar rocket at a fucking. Hobbyist balloon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I just keep calling them UFOs a lot. They're really using the, that term really freely these days. UFO. Well, what do they call them? Because now the official term is like UAP or whatever. For aliens? Yeah. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's like unidentified, unidentified aerial. Aerial. Uh, something. <laughs> Ariel something Ariel Peter I don't know I feel like there's just been a lot of UFO I haven't I haven't stayed too much on top of the UFO stuff lately since uh, (sighs) since they had that since when uh, Trump first came out of office and he signed that last thing that like uh, they had to they had to disclose all their UFO info yeah supposedly so everyone says Quantumania is a little meh. 
Uh, it's, yeah, m most of the people are saying it's like a seven, which, and, it, <laughs> and I have a feeling it's a little bit worse than that because it, it's kind of that thing where like everyone's like, like they don't want to shit on it, but they're just like trying to find. I guess because people like uh, Paul. Paul Rudd, people Rudd, like Paul Rudd. Rudd right? and people want to root for Paul Rudd, and then they want to root for this black guy. Yeah, that's King. <laughs> well, everyone says King was great. Like uh, King is good, or the guy who plays King is good, and then it's just like the writing's just sort of like very uh, lazy or, or whatever. I don't know. I, I think I was going to watch it this weekend just to <laughs> just to spite Peter because he, he went to Mexico. Mexico. And he's getting cavity searched without you. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> but um, I think I'm just going to wait for Disney Plus Yeah. on this one. Yeah, I agree. Speaking of Disney Plus, they said that they're going to scale back their shows that they're releasing on Disney Plus. Plus, so that's good news <laughs> because those were all pretty bad. Yeah, the three, four shows a year is, has been pretty rough. Rough, yeah. Is not it? good. Rough, a.k.a. not good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but they've... They, is there yeah, another they, one coming out? A TV show? Uh, yeah, another show. Not that I know of. What is Miss Marvels? What is the Mar what is The Marvels is a movie. Uh, it's, that's essentially the Captain Marvel movie, but it's got uh, Captain Marvel... And Miss Marvel? Miss Marvel, and... Who, which one's uh, Miss Marvel? Miss Marvel's the Indian girl from the show. Oh, what show? There was a Miss Marvel show. There was a Miss Marvel show? Yeah. Really? What did it do? It was alright. I didn't see I don't remember that. It was probably one of the better ones this year. I don't even remember it. When did it come out? After which? Uh, after which before she Hulk. Right before she Hulk. Before Shield, mm -hmm. She oh, Hulk. She oh, She Hulk. Hulk. Oh, what came out before that? And then I think they lost me. They lost me at after Wanda. Or... No, no, because I liked Wanda. Yeah. And then, oh, that's uh, right. And you liked Loki, huh? I liked Loki, and I liked. Uh, I did like um, the one. Moon Knight. The black guy. No, no. Moon Knight was. <laughs> Is that where they lost you? That's where they lost me. Um, the black guy. Oh, you're talking about. Uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Yeah. That was alright. That one was good. That one was good. Yeah. It was good. Enough. But that one was short, so it was like they didn't. They didn't have time to fuck it. Yeah, they didn't have time to fuck it up, right? Yeah, maybe it should have kept them short. Like maybe if She Hulk was only four episodes or three episodes. I don't know. It was. I mean, for She Hulk to have been good with what they've given us, it had to have been two episodes. There's only two episodes that were good. Yeah, uh, you can argue the last episode's good, but I don't. I don't count it because, I I just don't think it's good writing just to be like it's bad. It's, it's been bad all bad. along because we made it bad, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Yeah. Which uh, I think supposedly they do a little bit of that in Ant Man with, uh, uh, Modok. Yeah. And and like his CGI is just like really bad, and everyone. It's like a. It's almost like, like Rick and Morty. Like Rick and Morty does it. Yeah. But, they do it right. Yeah, you it's know? bad, but it's good. But it's not because they're making fun of, the genre itself, kind of, or like, past shit. Yeah. That's happened. Whereas if they're this, they're like, trying to make it new. Like, they're still yeah. trying to tell the story within the bad writing and then saying, like, oh, we made it bad to, yeah. be, to be ironic. And it's right. Like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're just saying it ironically yeah, yeah. because now people are receiving it wrong. <laughs> or badly. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, but that guy, the, you remember, you know who Modoc is in the Marvel Universe? Uh, yeah. He's like the square guy, but he's just pretty much a face, uh, kind of. Uh, Pat Malzmott plays him now. Yeah, yeah, in the cartoon. Yeah. Uh, they that have him and his, his CGI is like so like super bad really? in the show or something. But it's like a supposedly they're like Yeah, they're like Oh my god, it's bad. Yeah. So I'm yeah. like is it bad or, or like is it actually a joke or was it just bad and they just they're said just like, like yeah, fuck it, it and we'll just make, make a joke about it. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like uh, like Deadpool could get away with it. Yeah, but, because like, it's you supposed can't to use be. that Deadpool humor on everything. 
Because it's not Deadpool. Right. Well, it's because, it, like, Deadpool's supposed to be like that. And yeah. Rick and, and, like, when you're talking about Rick and Morty, that it's supposed to be a comedy uh, first before yeah. it's, like, good, like an engaging right. story. Right? Yeah, yeah. Where, like, Marvel should be going engaging story and, then and all that, before, and then have your jokes. Yeah. Yeah, but they're like, oh, there was this part that made you laugh. So that was good. Yeah, so it must have been good, right? <laughs> we made you giggle a little bit. Yeah, like Thor. Like Thor. Like yeah. there's scenes in there that make you laugh a little bit, but overall you're like, this is bad. Yeah. This is just bad. Yeah, like, some, a lot of people are saying that, that, Modo- that the Modoc scenes are like the funniest parts of the show, or, or the movie. So I don't know, maybe it pay, pays off well. But, but yeah, at the same time, you're right. It's not a, it's not, it's not a comedy movie. It's not like Burt Kreischer's The Machine or yeah. Cocaine Bear. You know, it's not like something that's trying to be funny. Is or Cocaine Bear supposed to be funny? Yeah, it's supposed to be a comedy. Like a horror. Or not a comedy. I think it's supposed to be comedy. Mm. Yeah, like, like a... like a. I thought it was supposed to be like a... No, it's supposed to be like a National Lampoon's... Oh, okay. You thought it was supposed to be like Sharknado or something? Kind of like no, that. No, yeah. it's, like it's a comedy. You know, it's like, like a ridiculous comedy. You know? mm-hmm. Like a classic comedy. That they don't make anymore. Oh, okay. They I haven't barely I'm, make anymore. I don't think I've seen like, like a hangover. Trailer. You know, like a hangover. Yeah, you know. I wish they'd make a good hangover type movie. Hopefully. I wonder how if Burt Kreischer's movie is gonna be any good. Has he put out Burt a trailer? Kreischer? No, I think it's supposed to come out soon. Burt Kreischer. I hope it would. And then supposedly Tommy and Burt are working on a movie as, as well. Tommy oh, Burt. Yeah. Tommy Buns. Tommy Buns. Um, okay, and then, yeah. I guess for Easter, for Easter, uh, Pepsi, I guess, I guess previously they did a peep soda. They did? That's the article. The article made it, makes it sound like they've done a peep soda before, like. Oh, it's marshmallow flavor, but it's yeah. not necessarily peep flavor. Yeah, but peep is marshmallow. Yeah. But with like. Sugar crystals with sand on it. Yeah, it was sand. <laughs> colored sand. It was sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, then. Oh, so anyway, but, um. So yeah, that's good that they're scaling back on show. But yeah, okay. So Deadpool, talking about Deadpool. So they they confirm that it's gonna be R, rated. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. Confirm. It'll be in the first. tank. It's it's R rated. That's cool. Um, It'll be the first uh, confirmed uh, Marvel property to be R rated. I hope they really push the envelope. I hope they. Uh, I hope they at least just uh, stick to the to the level of the second one. of the second one. Yeah. yeah. At bare minimum, like uh, don't don't downgrade it. I feel like uh, the new Justice League movie. Kind of, kind of, took that thing and we're like, we're just going to remake this, but just like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, it's kind of similar. Like, there's kind of similar scenes where like, or like the opening, how they all die. And then that's what Deadpool does too, where he assembles the team and then like everybody dies except for him and Domino, basically. Wait, what uh, Justice League movie are you talking about? I mean, I always say Justice League and uh, Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I mean Suicide Squad. Okay, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that they kind of try to emulate Deadpool out of that. But they did it good. They, I think they did it. No, no, it was it good. Be, uh, yeah. It's own thing. No, it was good. I still enjoyed it. Because, I, I mean, that's the style of superhero movie. At least, like, on that. <clears throat> when, when you can allow it. Mm-hmm. Ugh, the rated R stuff. Like, it's great. Um, yeah, but okay. That's that's cool that, they, that they're they going to go rated R. That shows me... Uh, that gives me signs of hope. <laughs> For at least one movie. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if... Um... Oh, they, oh, did you see the Flash trailer? It looks pretty good. No, I didn't. It actually looks good. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Does it, does it, does it make you think, oh, that's why they they won't fucking fire Ezra Miller? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, I don't feel, I don't feel like. Oh, this is why this movie won't get canceled. <laughs> yeah. Well. 
of the scenes in there that look good, like it didn't have anything to do with him. It just seems more like, oh, it looks cool. Mm-hmm. Michael Keaton. <laughs> yeah, I did see that stuff with him. I saw like a, some pictures, not uh, not the actual trailer of Michael Keaton in there. Yeah. And Ben Affleck. And the old Batman. The old Batmobile. The fucking Michael Keaton Batmobile. Yeah. And then, yeah. So that looks fun. Yeah, I think that, yeah, if anything, that movie will be fun. For sure. I was actually uh, pleasantly surprised that the trailer was not looked good. Yeah, but we've been burned. We've been burned. <laughs> we've been burned pretty hard. Before. By, by, by what? By DC? By what? I think so. I, I think the first the first Suicide Squad trailer looked pretty good. Did it? Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, but I didn't have high hopes for it. I was like, is it? Oh, you did? Yeah. And I think... I didn't have high hopes for any of them. I don't think Justice, Justice League didn't make me feel good about it. Yeah, that was bad. But I knew no, that was going to be bad, though. Yeah, maybe not, I, maybe I not so much DC. I knew everything <laughs> that wasn't... What's his name? was going to be bad. That wasn't Dark Knight. What's his name? Fucking... Ben Affleck? No, the director. Uh, that made Dark Knight. Christopher Nolan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I knew the point. Once they were done with the Christopher Nolan shit, like, they were going to... They were going to be reeling... It's just gonna <laughs> you know? yeah. They're still they're still wobbling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, just, they're, they're just like staggering all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. All, all, all over the octagon. Yeah, but, <laughs> trying to finish the storyline or whatever the fuck, or like trying to piggyback off the storyline, but <laughs> couldn't do it successfully <laughs> at all. Yeah. <laughs> no thing they do. No thing they, yeah, they're just like desperate attempts to. And I hear Black Adam's pretty good. But, I don't know. I couldn't get over... I couldn't get past uh, Pierce Brosnan running around holding that fucking thing the whole time. He looked goofy mm-hmm. as fuck. I don't think... I don't think Black Adam is good. I, did, I haven't watched it, but... I have a feeling it's still not. I hear <laughs> I hear people give it a bad rap, but I hear it's actually, like, pretty good. But, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if you, like, just... Put yourself in the mindset that... It's just like a fun movie or something, but... Pierce Brosnan just looks ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, he does. I, I think even a lot, of the, a lot of the CGI with The Rock looks really bad. There's a lot of, like, little stuff in as far as, like, the effects go that just looks really bad, and that's the stuff that usually, like, throws you off. Because, like, a big-ass monster, you don't... You normally expect it to just look like shit or look fake. But, like, there's, like, certain other stuff where just, like, just, like, landing, <laughs> landing out of air. Yeah. And just looks weird and just, like, well, what's wrong? What's going on? Here? Oh, yeah. Thor was pretty goofy with all the CGI. Yeah, it was. It was kind of really goofy with it. And then it's like, I might as well just watch a whole, why don't you just make the whole thing animated then? Mm-hmm. You know, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, re- I rewatched, I rewatched Thor and... Love and Thunder. Yeah, Love and Thunder. And I, yeah, I didn't like it as much the first, the second time. Uh-huh. But I rewatched also Multiverse of Madness, and I actually, I actually liked it more. Yeah, I like Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. What's her name? Was fucking scary. Uh, yeah, Scarlet Witch. She's um, she's so good. Yeah, she would. I hope I hope she's back. She comes back. I, I don't and know, she's I'm, more evil this time. They don't. Even, they don't. For me, they don't even have to make her evil. I just want her to be. Around, <laughs> she might be more evil. She might got totally consumed by that thing. Yeah, they could by taking it out. Like it just, she probably absorbed all the evil. <laughs> and because power. she's working with Kane. Power. She works with Kane. Yeah, or she's stronger than Kane. <laughs> that was that was one thing I heard. Uh, like, like they don't make Kane seem that powerful. Like he's like he's like a he's Thanos a level. Like yeah. he's a Thanos level threat, right? Uh-huh. Like like a lot of like a lot of people are saying that after that movie, it still feels like like Wanda could still just fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> whenever she wants. After Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. Yeah. But she's gone. Right. Yeah, that's true. So she's gone, supposedly. Well, that's why they said Thanos uh, came because Odin died. Because Odin died. Yeah. That's why he was like, oh, now I could go fuck up Earth. Now I could just come and fuck up Earth because Odin's gone. <laughs> yeah, but Odin wasn't on Earth. 
Yeah, but I think because Thor was like cared about her. Mm. Was Odin that strong? I never, I never felt yeah. like Odin was that strong. Yeah, he's like super strong. He's like a what a, a celestial or whatever. I guess he is, but still, like in um, and like the other Thor. It's because he's always he's old. Just, like never around. Because he's <laughs> old. And he's and why didn't Thanos just, just but out I, of respect or what? <laughs> yeah, maybe. He just wanted. To, he didn't want to step on Odin's territory. Maybe. He wasn't around because what he, he's gonna he's like he'll send his kids to deal with it, like anything that's not fucking Thanos or too strong for them. Mm-hmm. Well, I wish they if, if that was the case, I wish they uh, they showcased that a little bit like he's before already, he died. He's already old. Yeah, but like they could have been like he fucking because he's supposed to be like Thor, but like stronger. <laughs> Yeah, well, they could have just, like, had, like, a thunderbolt. Like, he just decimates, like, a... Like, a somebody previously who he thought was strong with, like, a thunderbolt. And then he dies. <laughs> and then he just dies of old age. Yeah, like, the, on the Thor 11 Thunder, like, everybody thought the Russell Crowe shit was very funny. And it is for, like, two minutes, but... That was a long scene. Yeah, there was like two... <laughs> you're like, like, okay, I'm over that. After the, second, after the second time, yeah, the accent, I kind of get tired of it. But the second time with the uh, with the lightning bolt, I'm like, all right, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, calm down. Yeah. Yeah, because he's doing like the... Oh, he's like, like yeah. very theatrical and shit. Yeah. It's like, just, just do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> he's twirling it around and stuff. That movie was pretty bad. Uh, I can't we also had a um, oh, multiverse. Yeah, multiverse has really dropped in player base by ninety nine percent. Did you try it? Uh, no, actually, I never played it. The game I was... downloaded it and never played it. The gameplay was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was stupid how they just like didn't. They're like, you're like you could use these two characters for, like. You use these two characters for two days. Oh, and then later, so it was like cursed? Yeah, and then like, okay, in two days now you can use these two characters. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, why? Yeah. And then you can't, and then you're like, you can't just play each other. You can't just come over and play the game. Oh, really? Yeah, and pl- like... You have to play online? There's no, yeah, there's no... There's no like... Uh, what do you call it? Local game. Yeah, local game. Yeah. There's yeah. no versus mode. That local game where you can just use the characters. Oh like, yeah, that's bad. Especially for a game like that. Like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. That's fucking. Stupid. So like, even if you wanted to buy all the characters, which I don't know how much it probably would cost, like about like a normal game, whatever it would cost. But then you can't play each other. You have to yeah. play online. Yeah, and also the... the, the and then probably against people who didn't buy the game as well. <laughs> so you're just going to be playing against Superman for two days. Yeah, straight. yeah, the same character every, every two days. You're going to be playing against Superman and LeBron for two days straight. And then yes. fucking Jesus. Shaggy and Finn. Yeah, and that day, that the day probably fucking sucks the worst when it's like the best character is free. So then everybody's, everybody's fucking using with LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron just shoves his dick down fucking Shaggy's throat. <laughs> but it was fun. I like they had a thing on there that if you keep spamming the same move, it gets weaker. Like it does really. less damage. So mm-hmm. you keep. It's like um, like Smash Brothers. So it's like you keep using the Falcon Punch over and over, like each time. Uh, lands like you see the power like bar drop of the mm-hmm. amount of damage it did. Mm. So that was cool. So you would have to be forced to use other moves. Yeah, to switch stuff, uh, switch stuff up. But Falcon Punch was just so strong, you could still do that anyway. <laughs> yeah, you could still kill <laughs> people with that thing. Falcon Punch. That's the best move in fighting game ever. Yeah. He's so cool. He's cool as fuck. But like, you, in his own game, you literally never you never see him. <laughs> he's just driving a car. 
He just comes, <laughs> his head pops up. Yeah. <coughs> and then <coughs> dialogue <coughs> is written out, <coughs> right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's almost yeah, like, is um, is it kind of like Star, uh, Star Fox? <coughs> no, it's, it's just, it's a racing game. <coughs> no, it's, it's like, a racing game, but I think it doesn't have like a story mode kind of like Star Fox where it's like, I think like kind where of they thing. pop up and talk to you and stuff. I think kind of like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they pop up and like, hey, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. You better keep, you better stop driving like that yeah. or else you're going to crash and burn, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, Falcon Punch. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't punch a single person. He only talks in, move, in his moves. And his Falcon Punch. Does he ever fight? <laughs> I don't think he, he no, gets out yeah, of his car and fights. But he's just a badass. Yeah, he's just a bad. Yeah, he turns out to be a badass when <laughs> he gets transported in a smash. <laughs> <laughs> and he's better than anybody else. Um, let's see what, yeah, but yeah. So fuck that game. It was fun. It was good though. I, that's what I'm disappointed about because I, don't, I mean the I shows don't... that like you could fucking make a good game. And put all the good characters in it, and then fucking make it microtransaction, and it'll fail <laughs> just because of microtransactions. <laughs> so I hope it's a warning to all who want to follow this path yeah. path of getting the best licenses on characters and making a good game, and putting microtransactions will still ruin it. <laughs> you know, no matter how good it is, like fucking, <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, what other games were like that that were... There was one game recently that was like, there's way too many microtransactions. Um, Gran Turismo. Oh, that one, yeah. I think the last um, Shadow Shadow of Mordor... Oh, really? Like, a lot of people just didn't want to play it because of the microtransactions. When, like, the first, the first game was super good. Was, yeah, like, it's... It's one thing when you do it with um, cosmetics, but when you do it with actual characters in the fucking game, mm-hmm. like, that's ridiculous. Same thing with driving game. That's The cars are pretty much the characters. Yeah. And you're actually putting microtransactions for characters. It's like, dude. It's one, and then, but also, okay, it's fine if you do that, but you already have, like, a big library of, yeah, there's still also a lot of stuff for you to do. Yourself, I mean, this right? game was free. So, I mean, but... It's like... Uh, I don't think that's... But it's like, you can't just straight up buy it. You can't just be like, here's $60 for the game. Uh-huh. And I get all the characters. You have to go and like do this whole comp- convoluted thing. Do you have to buy like each character individually? Yeah, I think like so. for three ball three dollars or whatever. I think so. Yeah, I think Jeez. it's like that. So it's like, so it's like should I at least be like a pack, like a character pack? Yeah, or here's the full the the or just do like the premium edition. This is the full game. You yeah, know? a lot of you a lot can of play games for free. You can play. Yeah, do maybe do three tiers, free. Medium tier where it's like a half basically, and then premium where you get where it's like a full fucking game. That's where they didn't do that. Normally, free to play games do like um, they call them like founders editions, uh-huh. and it's usually like if you're the, like one of the first backers of the of the game, right? Mm-hmm. Like you're or like you're interested in the game. Uh, it's usually like that. Like it's like fifty bucks, fifty bucks or whatever. And you get uh, you only have like all the unlocks or whatever. Yeah. Or if it's like an RPG, you get like a bunch of you get like a bunch of these free currencies every month or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is weird. So it's weird that they didn't do that. Um, they pr- I think a lot of these games they don't or companies they don't look into the other models that are are successful and or and failing. Yeah, yeah. They just like we're just gonna do Try our own thing. Yeah. We're gonna try this and see if it works. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can fuck them over and yeah. see <laughs> and if they won't realize it, right? Yeah, but they also had all these IPs with Warner Brothers, so it's like, so it's like they thought. I think that thought they thought that using all these char- that getting all these characters on board with the game, yeah, or on the game is gonna be enough to. 
people to look past the microtransactions. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Warner Brothers IPs are really nothing in comparison to Nintendo IPs, right? But they had good characters. They had Batman. Yeah, they got Bat. They got Batman, Shaggy, Scooby, Superman, uh, Superman, and then that's those are Adventure like the big time. ones, right? Adventure Time, School, uh, Spun. Did they have Spun? No, they had Spun. Uh, no, Spun Bob was a. Uh, was cool. They had like Game of Thrones on there. They had a uh, Arya Stark on there. What was SpongeBob on? It was another game. It was a different game. Like it was cool. They had Game of Thrones characters on there. Did they? They had Arya? Yeah, they had Arya Stark on there. And they had Jon Snow. There you go. Oh, here it is. Or Daenerys? No. no. They had Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry. Uh, I forgot who else. They had LeBron. <laughs> <sighs> Why LeBron? Is it just because of the Just because of the show? movie, yeah. Uh-huh. Who else did they have? Yeah, I liked it, but... Same thing with that. With what? Same thing with that. Like, it was a good game. <laughs> it was fun. It was, it was good for the... For, for, the story's, like, fucking... The story three, was bad. The game three, four hours fun. long. The, the characters were cool. Or at least they looked cool. Like, the robots. Yeah, the and suits like, were... The, the, the classes were cool. You know... Yeah, they were pretty much so they were pretty much game. your basic classes, right? You have your tank, your yeah. support, and your damage or mage type class. Long range. Oh, they had Black Adam. Well, it's at that point, it's like a Justice League game. Um, Marvel the Martian. Oh, they had Rick and Morty on there. Oh, they did. Yeah, that was cool. It's cool they have like Samurai Batman. An evil Morty. Were those just skins for Batman and Yeah, Morty? I think so. Oh. Um, it looks like they did zombie. Or they did like Halloween. Oh, they had the Iron Giant, Wonder Woman. Oh, Iron Giant, sick. They had Thelma. Oh, they had the. They had a. Gremlins. Gremlins? Too? Yeah. Yeah, they had some pretty cool, cool Yeah, those are cool. Well. Fucking, what is this guy? Gravity, what is that shit? Uh, Steven Universe? Yeah, Steven Universe. Yeah, they do have a bunch of unique characters. Definitely a lot of, uh, a big, what is it, a big variety. Yeah, and then they have the other character from Steven Universe. I think that's about it. Mm-hmm. I think we should take a break real quick. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back with for, with a word from our sponsors. Hey, did you know? What's going on, people? It's Pistol Pete Jr. here. Just to remind you one more time to check out Ray's Energy Drinks by Rep Sports. Ray's Energy Drinks. Amazing flavors. Zero sugar, zero dyes, zero crash. None of the junk, none of the bullshit that's in these other energy drinks. They're amazing. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love them. Use coupon code TRPS for checkout. Get 15% off your order. Check out repsports.com. R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S.com. Again, use coupon code TRPS uh, for 15% off your order and to let them know that we sent you. All right, we're back with the Petering Out Podcast. So, Peter didn't watch any of the last ones because he's a fake fan. He's a fake fan. Fake fan. He never even finished the game. Yeah, all he cares about is going to Mexico and just getting his... uh, (laughs) Getting his cavity (laughs) cavity (laughs) search (laughs) fixed. Uh, anyway, um, how come he hasn't been watching? Huh? Did he ever finish the, the second game? I don't know if he did. No, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did finish the second game, but it took him a while. Yeah, it did take him. A while. Um, <laughs> did Returnal come out like not too long after that? Oh no. 
Maybe. Maybe yeah, but but I think I think Last of Us Two is like the first game he finished in like a long, long streak time. of games. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, like he never finished Death Stranding. He hasn't finished Final Fantasy Seven. He hasn't. And those are like two big games. That he was extremely hyped for. hyped for. I never beat Metal Gear. The other Metal Gear Solid. Which one? Three, five. Oh, Phantom Pain. Phantom Pain, yeah. Oh, did you did you at least? I got to the first ten chapters. I got to the point where they're like, "Yo, you got to play these levels again." Yeah, you basically beat the game. And then I was like, "I'm not doing that." You get like two other cutscenes. You get two new cutscenes. Yeah. And at the end, you like it's like oh, somebody's uh, I forgot who, but like it's like oh, somebody's manufacturing the, the this like thing that's infecting people. And making them into those those guys yeah. who were like chasing you like zombies kind of. Yeah, like my fucking game really disappointed me. It was fun. But like The gameplay was great, but like it's yeah, there's it felt like a shell. Mm-hmm. Right. Especially for something like, what you expect from Metal Gear. Yeah. I felt like that the essence was there. But yeah, there was just the essence it just it was like it was like Kojima died, but it like, he like his clothes were still in the closet, so you could smell his scent was still. <laughs> his scent, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's accurate. <laughs> you would just go in there and smell his clothes and be like, "Happy <laughs> It still lingers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so episode four and five. The Stranding Two looks pretty sick, great. though. The Stranding Two looks. Uh, I hope. I want to see more gameplay. I'll probably play it regardless, but... I mean, I, I really I really liked it. I, I really liked it. The, I enjoyed it when I first played it, but, like, the more I think about having to play another game like that, I'm like, I don't know if I want to play another game like that. <laughs> I would. I liked it. I would play it again. Mm-hmm. Like, I would play it again from start to finish. Like, knowing what I know now. Like, that way I could do stuff more. Like, yeah, efficiently. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, and, like, I feel do like all I, the side stuff first before beating it. Yeah, I feel like I did. I did that for the game for that game. I pretty much did everything up until like the last uh, the snow area. I was, I really hated the snow area once we got there. I just didn't like the whole like. But you have zip lines. Trudging through snow. Well, once you just set your zip lines up, you're like fucking just. It was still it. awful getting to that point though. Zip, zip <laughs> Yeah, it was and still. Then you off. had your snow fucking power things. I didn't even like those, cause then you ran out of power. Right, I mean, you had to do that. I mean, you still had like, like, it was like the most worst. It was like the worst like. I don't know. I don't, know. I, never, I don't think I've ever I ran out of power. <laughs> like, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> But, I don't uh, know, maybe they fixed it by the time I got there. Maybe, yeah, maybe they tweaked it. They probably update where the battery lasts longer on those. Maybe. Because <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever had... Like, I think at one, at one point, because they want you to fill it, and then after, the, like, but once you get the snow... I think it was before you got the actual snow uh, skeletal suit. Mm. The one designed for the snow. Yeah, yeah. And once you get that, then you're then you're cool. Yeah, I think once I got that, it was cool. But still, I, I my memories of of that snow area before getting that, I just dreaded having to go anywhere. In, in that. But like before that, but I did the everything. The place I hated more was the one with all the fucking rocky things, so you couldn't like drive through there. It's like uh, so rocky that you can't fucking drive anything oh, that's through true. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's like an area in within that that's like full of fucking BTs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that place. That place. But uh, but that one you could still get around it once you fucking got those. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't mind not having to drive just because you. He sprinted fast when he was sprinting, and you just fucking sprint, and then you just let your sprint come back and you sprint again. But. That's snow, man. Because <laughs> he couldn't even sprint in it. It's so, so annoying. Um, 
Mm. We, those are all our topics. Peter's getting lazy. We're yeah. sending us topics. Peter he used to be sending us topics, and now he just sends like five. He, yeah, he just tells us, I'm getting cavity search this weekend, guys. Can't make it. Yeah. And then we just. And he just sent five stories maybe throughout the week. Yeah, and, he just sends And a fucking videos. shitload of memes <laughs> and not funny video. <laughs> <laughs> Still maintaining the one out of ten. <laughs> Still maintaining the one out of ten ratio. <laughs> I'll cut. I'll. I will hit like a string of like good ones, and like I'm gonna annoy the shit out of you guys with all these ones I'm sending, but they're funny to me. <laughs> but um, what do you think about this? The the last episode of Last of Us. Uh, that was uh, that was great. Best episode to you or no? Nah. The last two were were. Uh... Yeah, it's gotta be. The last two were like the closest to the game. Yeah, I thought so. That it felt uh, so far. What's her name? Was kind of was annoying. The girl from Two and a Half Men. Oh yeah, uh, Rose. Yeah, she. She was not a. She was the only bad actor in the whole show, so far. I don't think she was a, being a bad actor. I think they just wrote her bad. Like, uh, I think mean, first. I think she got better in the second episode, but the first episode she was really bad. It was just in those moments when she was yelling at people to do shit, and you're like, "Yeah, she was very soft spoken. Like, how how are you co- commanding people?" Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I didn't think about that. The but scene um, that with Tommy though made it like that's cool that that guy was actually Tommy's voice. Yeah, that was Tommy's voice actor. Um, that that. His, uh, his scene where he was like, hey, you got all this shit done. Like, I get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish they, I wish they would have... Uh, elaborate. Elaborate. <laughs> what she's done you for the take her, like, why, yeah. Why, and then, like, the whole time you're like, dude, this guy's so tired of her shit, he's gonna, like, fucking shoot her. And yeah, the whole time he's, over. like, side-eyeing her. Like, yeah. You're gonna do that? And then he, like... But that's what you're doing? And then it turned out he was the biggest kiss ass. So yeah. He sacrificed himself for her. Yeah, in a brutal way. By, uh, that you, little girl was cool. Yeah, that, yeah, that little girl was awesome. The clicker. Yeah, that way she was like crawling through the car. That, yeah, that that she looked scary. Little... That shit creeped me out. Like, oh no, <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> the yeah, motor looked awesome. Yeah, that scene was pretty cool. Uh, when she was running through and he was shooting uh, clickers. Mm-hmm. And then uh, um, it reminded me of Game of Thrones. The fucking Silent Night or whatever what was it called? The Long Night? The Long Night. Yeah, it reminded me of the Long Night. Like, when they first start coming through, when they're first coming out the darkness. Oh, in the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they first when come the, out when the, the White Walkers come yeah, out. They, yeah, come yeah. Out. yeah, they did look like it. Huh? Yeah, that, that should look super cool. Yeah, it was cool that they got real, real people to do it, and then they, like, just enhanced it. Yeah. With CGI and shading. and. Supposedly they didn't CGI it. I think, well, I mean, I think there's, like, special effects, like, with lighting, special effect lighting, and mm-hmm. to make it look better. Because when, when they showed it in the after, the behind-the-scenes stuff, mm-hmm. like, you could see, like, you could tell that there was people. But then, see, in the the movie, I mean, in the show, it looked like, it, didn't, it looked like fucking monsters. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, they look scary. Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Was super good. And like I don't know if that girl, like I don't know if that girl would be able to move like that. I wonder if she was actually able to move like that. What that acro- the acrobat girl? Yeah, the little girl. The little girl that was like she was like fucking bringing her back. Oh, she was definitely able to move like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they didn't CGI that. They well, like sped it. They had to speed it up or something though. Maybe, maybe. They gotta add some like t- texturing to or something. I think. I don't know. I think she. Uh, I have a feeling that that was just all her. I have a. I don't know. I well, she know. can't leap from a post on. <laughs> she can't. Yeah, she just can't. She can't. You know? If I can do flips and they yeah, jump but and they jump. Was she like a gymnast? Feet away. Yeah, she was. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought she was, was like, like a nine-year-old. Actual... It was like a nine-year-old gymnast. Yeah. Oh, but no, no, yeah, nine-year-old too. <laughs> to do all that she's a fucking what, what is it called 
They probably sped it up a little bit. Like, just enough to make it Maybe. look fucking creepy. <clears throat> But it looked, it looked badass. And then, yeah, that, that was super well done. That, that. Yeah, and then the, the, I did like that they made him deaf. That did make it more uh, sad. Yeah. And did. more... Uh, I mean, more believe Not believable, but like... It did make it more uh, sensitive. Or just, you just cared more. Yeah. No. I like, yeah. Their, you cared more for their connection as brothers, I guess. Yeah. I like that Henry was as, a, like, stern. Because in the game, he's like... He's like, you can't even, you can't have that toy. Uh-huh. We only take the necessities. Yeah. And he makes a fucking toy. Yeah. Like <laughs> and then Ellie br- brings it for him. But, yeah, I, I like that it was a little more soft on him. But then I like how they added that element in there. Of, did, was that in there where they were looking for him? Yeah. Uh, they were looking for him, but they weren't. But it wasn't like. They were looking for him the same way that they were looking for Joel and Ellie. Right? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like. A vendetta, yeah. I like how they added that in there where he he sold, he out, sold out her brother to get medicine for the kid. Yeah. And they're looking for him because of that. Yeah. That was a nice touch too. And then yeah. and then later on it you know, it also ties in with the ending. Oh yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> What was it? Uh, so it was kind of nice. I did like it. The the guy the, the guy who made the game I forget his name. Uh, but he was uh in the BTS. Do you ever watch those BTS? Before, yeah. After the thing? yeah, but I don't pay attention to it uh, that much. But I do watch, I do let it play out to the end. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes when I hear like the 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 show director talk, he's like. Like, with the first couple episodes, he was making it sound like Ellie was supposed to be, like, this sadi- like, like this sadistic person. Like, like he keeps trying to tease that, like, there's, like, this dark side to Ellie that, that's, like, trying to boil up and she wants okay. to kill people uh-huh. <laughs> and all this. Uh, that, or at least that's what I was trying to get, what was uh, getting from him. Uh-huh. And that was kind of making me mad. I'm like, that's not how Ellie really is. But, um... There was one part where he kind of, the uh, game director kind of teased uh, Joel's, Joel's death when he was uh, talking about Sam with, all, with that. Because he says something about um, you, you, when, you te- when you tried to alter fate or whatever, you, you do it kind of... Um, like it's like it's all for not like no, no matter what it's always gonna happen yeah and the more you fight it the more at the end it's just gonna like brutally you know, fuck you up at the in the end it, it, when you lose yeah oh yeah yeah I do I think I do remember him saying that yeah so they kind of they kind of do that because it's eventually Joel does lose yeah. and it gets brutally <laughs> fucked up uh, yeah watching the episode too like knowing what happens you're just like even more sad seeing the kid like the <laughs> relationship between him and Henry uh-huh. and you're like oh dude this is gonna be so sad <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was just a sad <laughs> yeah it was recent. they did it really good they did yeah. it really good yeah yeah like Susie watching it she, she didn't know until it happened you know? mm-hmm. and then me I'm just like oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here it comes <laughs> Luckily, luckily, that's like the last sad part, or like really sad part for until. It's supposed to be more brutal at this point, where it's like. Yeah, because we're gonna get. People who die deserve to die. And... Yeah, because we're gonna get like we're, we're gonna finally meet Tommy again, and then. It, they kind of spoiled that for the people on the when they show the next time. On the preview, yeah. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, here's Tommy. He's alive." Yeah. Yeah. And they're in a town. Let, let and they're like, in a town. They're living happily. Yeah. <laughs> you could have like let it show that. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of yeah, that was annoying. But um what else? There was uh what else what are what other main parts of the game are there? There's like uh isn't there that part where Ellie goes off on her own and she's like uh-huh. fighting the uh the like dude those cannibal people or whatever? I don't remember the rest of the game. I remember, I remember there's a part where Ellie's like 
hiding around from uh, from a guy trying to kill her mm-hmm. the whole time. And he, like, acts like he's going to help her in the beginning. Yeah, I remember there being, like, some... She gets separated through, from Joel at some Going point. through, like, a subway system that's just totally infested. Yeah, that too. But by the time you... It's, like, just crazy infected. But by the time you get there, you just have, like, a fucking shitload of bombs and... <laughs> yeah, and ammo. <laughs> like, and, like, you, and, like, you know how to deal with everything. So, like, you're, it's not, you're like, just kind of, like... Yeah, you're experienced. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just make your way through this whole... This, this, <laughs> like, uh, nothing. It's yeah. the one-man army. <laughs> taking out All these zombies. Fucking bloaters and shit. Um, yeah, you, they, you think they, they blew the budget on this last episode? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I think that's why that's, that's why episode three didn't have any any uh, anything anything yeah. I think that's why a lot of it hasn't had anything. But I mean, they gotta keep upping it, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. They don't necessarily have to keep upping it in in terms of zombies. In terms of zombies in action, right? Yeah, but it's kind of like. But uh, the, but the there, that's time. all there's left. There's the there's there's the thing where Joel has to save Ellie. Because uh, they get separated at some point, mm-hmm. and you play as Ellie for like a little bit, and then you say, and then and yeah, and then Jill sees Ellie, and then they go, and then I think they go to the Firefly thing from there. Yeah, the sequel's gonna be so much better. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Fuck uh, it. It starts getting. I, I hear a bunch of people talk shit about fucking uh, the second game. Ooh. Just a, just just like sure. other like re- reviewers or whatever they talk shit about the the second game. I don't I don't get how you could. They're always like, oh, Joel wouldn't make that. Joel wouldn't make that decision to, or Joel wouldn't just give out his name. Like Joel's not like. Joel was, was never, like, Joel. a super smart person yeah. throughout the game. It was just, you like, you're playing him as a game. But in his cutscenes, he was never, like, this is very... What to do, exactly yeah. what to do and when. He just was survived at all costs. Yeah, he was surviving. But, and then also, in the next few years, from the first and second game to the second game... They've been living in like this pretty peaceful. Yeah, he's got town. sloppy and old. He yeah. was already old. He's already fucking. Yeah, and then he got even older. He's already like sixty, basically. <laughs> yeah, so now he's like almost seventy. How old is she? She's like nineteen. In the, in the second game. Yeah. Uh, I think she, she's like somewhere between nineteen and like twenty one or something. And then the, I thought the girl was younger. the 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 actor who plays her uh-huh. was younger, she's, but she's nineteen. Age, huh? She's nineteen. She's nineteen. Uh, fucking Bella Ramsey. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's so young. So they're probably gonna uh, the. Yeah. So she's gonna play her in the sequel. Yeah. yeah. So I'm happy for that. Yeah. That's I'm crazy. That. She's nineteen. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's super young. Yeah, she looks really. Young. I didn't even know she was... I, I wasn't even sure if she was actually 14. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought she was... I thought she was maybe 16, looking at her. But yeah, I guess she's like 19, supposedly. Um, yeah, so they'll probably like... Uh, they'll probably make up her up a little more. Or maybe they're make her, make up her up a lot right now to make her look younger. Yeah. But... And then, uh, you want to end it? I don't know. What? Don't we have, uh... Do we have more to talk about? I thought we were out of topics. Because he barely sent us a couple topics, but we could look at the topics. Fucking marshmallow soda, man. You think it's going to be good or not? Yeah, that sounds good. Does it? It's like vanilla soda. I guess. Or whatever. I cream soda. It's yeah. like cream soda. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
But will it have sand in it? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have a sand rim. <laughs> it's all lodged in the in the threads of the of the cap. <laughs> So they're working on the new Spider-Man. Did you ever watch the Uncharted movie? I watched like the first 30, bad, huh? 30 45 minutes. Yeah. It's really bad. I was not into it. Yeah. I fell asleep through it. It's funny. I threw, I threw an action movie. So That's pretty bad. Yeah. I, I, I remember, uh, I think the, the first trailer looked cool. And I think the second trailer, I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was weird that they were uh, that it was before it was before the first game but they were taking shit from like the third game yeah. and putting it in the in the show in the movie it was like this is not gonna be a good so that one. was uh, Naughty Dog also huh? yeah that was a Naughty Dog game but I don't so, think they, they they weren't as uh, uh, close to to like the making of yeah, the yeah. thing as they were for like Last of Us. Next is Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot game? Movie. Did they have a show? Did they try to make a show? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. Um, but they're making the new Spider Man. Yeah, of course. I'm not a. Watching that last Spider Man. I like Seeing it. how weak uh, of an actor, uh, what's his name? It's Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. It's, it's really like, it shook me. <laughs> it shook you? Yeah, it did, it did uh, point out that I'm Andrew glad. Garfield and, Tom, and uh, uh, Tobey Maguire were so much better so actors. <laughs> <laughs> they like just fucking, they just blew him out of the water. Fool. Just blew, <laughs> blew him out of the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they really did. Uh, yeah, like so. It's kind of like jaded me towards. This. And then he was bad in Uncharted too. Yeah, he was. I forgot Mark Wahlberg was in that too. Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> I feel like he has something to do with these things, like Max Payne. That he that piece of shit he was in. Like, the Max Payne storylines are fucking sick. Like, even number three. Like, you probably only played number three, right? I think I only played number three, but I hardly remember it. He was in Brazil. I remember you were, like, in, I remember being in Brazil. And then it ending at the airport in the game. I think he was just, like, helping. He was just, like, a security guard for some lady. And they got, I don't know. But it ended up being, like, an organ harvesting fucking conspiracy oh, okay. that he took down. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that how all the games are? He's just like happenstance and it, 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 it becomes like a... But like the first one was like uh, these dudes killed his family and then it turned out like these guys were like they went crazy because they were like they were in the military and then they went crazy because they were like being experimented on by uh this company that was trying to make like super soldiers mm-hmm. but they were like a pharmaceutical company you know and then like he was like I'm gonna take these motherfuckers down <laughs> <laughs> you like work your way up <laughs> and you finally kill them all but yeah it was a cool it was a cooler story like I forgot what there was like a couple of twists in there and stuff but yeah Mark Wahlberg really fucked that one I don't know if it was his fault, but I feel like he had something to do with it. Well, he's not a good actor, so <laughs> regardless, it would have been. What was he good in? Yeah. Um, good, good, good guys. Is it other guys. Other guys. Yeah, he was good at that. But like, because it didn't require it like didn't, good yeah, acting. Good acting. Good acting. acting at all. It was just let Will Ferrell be fucking funny. Yeah. And and just play off of that. Yeah. But yeah, what what movie has he ever been in that he was good at? Um, there was that one movie, uh, there's that one Christmas movie with John, no, not John Cena. <laughs> John Cena is in the end of it, but it, but it's like, uh, fuck, what's it called? He was alright in that movie. A Christmas movie? Yeah, it, it's like it, around Christmas, it's not, 
necessarily a Christmas movie, but... Is it like one of those where he has, like, uh, an estranged daughter? No. <laughs> no, no, he's like the stepdad, and then the... Okay, the, yeah, stepdad, that's the, what I meant. The father, uh, the stepfather is like trying to get along with the kids, and then for I guess I think for Christmas or for some holiday he comes down, and and then it's like a rivalry between the dad and the stepdad. Uh, I think it is Will Ferrell also actually. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, he was that one movie was alright. Four Brothers. You ever watched that one? With Not Andre Four Brothers. With Andre 3000? Yeah. No. And then, uh, yeah. And I think Tyrese, isn't it? Tyrese Gibson? Yeah. Mm. And then some other, some other white guy. This is the, this is the fourth brother. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> but I don't know who that guy is. Um, that movie was pretty good. But, yeah, this, I don't get the hype. Why is he so famous? Like, Oh, Pain and Gain. He was good in Pain and Gain. What's that one? Is that another comedy? Him and the Rock. Uh, bodybuilders. I don't think I watched that either. No, it was good. It was, it was more. It was kind of action, but it was more. I think it was more about like just like. Was oh. he in like Boogie Nights? Is that a movie? Boogie Nights? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't know that movie. Yeah, it's a old movie. Everybody says it's really good. I never watched it. Yeah, I think Panic Game was like a. They're like a, two bodybuilders, but they're also like doing fucking like uh, like managing a drug ring or some shit. <laughs> he was in uh, Invincible. Oh, he was in the fighter, but he wasn't particularly good in that. He was just in that. Like anybody could have played that part and mm-hmm. been fine. I don't think the boxing was good in that either. But everybody... Everybody loved it. Because people don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone thinks it's just punching. Which it is. <laughs> uh, that movie was good, though, because Christian Bale and the writing, or the story, the overall story was good. Mm-hmm. Anyway. But yeah, he's just... I don't know. He makes a lot of movies, though. Maybe that's why he just makes a lot of movies, and they're not bad. You know, but they're not they're, they're not just great. Average. They're not great movies, but like, I don't think he's been in a, any particular bad movie. Other yeah. Than Uncharted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of his movies are pretty average, which might be he's got a good bad. Right. He has a good batting average. Right. You know? Yeah, he gets He'll on get, base all the time. On, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, you want to buy your team. Uh, yeah. He'll go, he'll go to, he'll battle it out with a pitcher. Go yeah. foul, foul, foul. <laughs> Strike, foul. He'll really tire the pitcher out for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking funny. All right, we'll wrap up on that. All right, make sure to like us on, um, on Facebook at The Real Press Start. Uh, Twitter at Real Press Start. For some reason, it's still Real Press Start. We're the Peter and Out Podcast, goddammit. And, and everybody uh, knows it. Yeah, and everybody knows it. Right, Tide. We have, we have t-shirts. The Real Press Start doesn't. We're sponsored by Tide, not the Real Press Start. Yeah. And Peter. soon to be Prime. Yeah, soon to be Prime. <laughs> we just got to sip it from... From Logan from Paul's, Paul's general, <laughs> general, general, area. general dick area. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it yet? No. Have you ever you tried it? No. He he sent yeah, a, a he sent a picture of it. of it on a shelf. I don't know why. Because I because I've been saying I've been, you haven't seen it anywhere. I haven't seen it anywhere. I'm surprised it wasn't at Seven Eleven or something. Um, What's up with these? Uh, uh, it's like uh, you. I feel like there's way more famous British YouTubers than. American YouTube. It's because people like here is it, the the accent is more stimulating to is it? to to us at least. But like even like I feel like there's like more British fans of YouTubers. Hmm. Or like they actually care about YouTubers. Maybe I'm just old. And I don't oh, care about YouTubers. I think that's true because well, it's because British TV sucks. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mo- mo- most most places watch fucking American TV. 
Yeah. Like, at, le- at least, like, I guess, a good stuff. like, Tom Segura's a YouTuber, but, like, I'm, I don't know. Like, so many shows are British shows, and then America makes them, and they're just better. Like, Shameless. Uh-huh. Shameless was a British TV show before. Yeah. Office. Uh, the Office. Uh, what else? There was one. There was yeah. another one on my mind right now, but no, I just lost it. But <laughs> they're almost always like funnier. Yeah, it's just because probably like Hollywood just does better. Like it's more. Yeah, it puts more mo- money behind it too. Oh, yeah, probably. it's just the more streamlined. Like they started the fucking thing, you know. Yeah. After churning out movies. On that note, game over. Go China. Go what? (laughs) Go China. Go China, okay.